Hey everybody, it's me, your favorite brain in a jar. Oh, and it looks like I'm out of my jar. I'm gonna, oop, there I am. Alright folks, uh, we've got a very exciting episode for you. Oh, don't mind our intern. Uh, we've got a very exciting episode for you. Uh, it's me, your favorite teacher, doctor teacher. Uh, I am your host, the host of Everything Now. Oh, we're getting some notes uh, that we're getting some peaking audio. So we're going to go ahead and bring that back down. And hopefully uh, that is going to be a better audio level. So just let us know in the chat uh, if we're coming in clear for you guys at home. Uh, today's episode, we've got a very exciting uh, group of experts who are here to talk to you about boxes. Uh, so we've got, uh, well, I'm not even going to introduce them. Uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves in just a moment. Uh, but before I do, well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and meet our, our panel of guests. So uh, without further ado, here they are. Ooh, and let me go ahead and make sure that we can hear all of them. You guys want to say hello? hello? Hey, hello? Did I do it, Brain? Yes, yes, okay. you did. All right. And I'm going to uh, go ahead. I'm, do I talk? Go ahead. I'm O'Neill Diamond. I'm, uh, I'm a disruptor. My name is Jack. That's it. Hey, I'm Jules. Excellent. And I'm Mrs. Box. Uh, obviously, you can see what I am. I'm a box. Great. And welcome to everybody. Thank you guys all for joining us today. We are so very excited uh, to have you guys here on the show uh, to be talking about today's topic, uh, which we know is boxes. So once again, uh, my name is oh and we're seeing uh someone in the chat is letting us know uh that we're peaking still thank you for that in the chat uh we're gonna try to address that before uh we move on right now let us know uh if you're hearing us at home in the chat uh while we're doing that i think i hear something uh in the distance what what is that sound um something is it a little uh oh Oh, I think we know that sound. That is the sound of an incoming jingle. That's right, folks. It's jingle time. And let's take a listen to our jingle for boxes. It should be playing right about now. Wow, that is, that is pretty groovy. Now that is a beautiful jingle. And thank you so much for that jingle, whoever sent that in. We're very excited to have uh, beautiful music on the chat and in the show all the time. Uh, without too much further ado, I'd like to bring up uh, our first guest of the day. Uh, they need uh, no introduction. Uh, I'm going to let them come out onto the stage and tell you a little bit about themselves. Please welcome our first guest. Oh, and 
Do they need a little bit of help? With the microphone? Nope. It seems. You got it? I'm doing fine. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Uh, like I said before, my name is Mrs. Box. Whew. I'm a little out of breath. I'm not the most in shape, even though I am a physically a rectangle. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to be on the show and kind of open, uh, open up, you know, this lesson on boxes. Uh, being a box myself, there has been a lot of misinformation spread, and I'd like to clear up the air. Um, first off, yes, I am a box, and I have feelings. I am lucky enough to be a sentient box. Um, I don't have a cool backstory, so don't ask me about it. Um, and so, yeah, I, uh, anyways, I'm alive. That's how I am. And I can uh, speak for all the boxes, kind of like the Lorax speaks for the trees. Uh, so, yeah, here I am. As you can see, full box. Turn around. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, boxes are limited in motion. They usually need human help in order to, to, to get from one place to another. But humans are not always nice in handling boxes correctly. Please, can I get a volunteer from the panel? You, ordinary lady, please come up here. Good luck. You got it. Hi, lady, what's your name again? It's just Jules. Give it up for just Jules. Hey. Excellent, excellent. From All right, you. now, Jules, we're going to play a little bit of a role-playing activity. Um, you are going to uh, pick me up and move me like you would any other uh, normal box. Um, and, yeah, so uh, let's just go about and see how you do that. Well, do most boxes start just floating in the air? You're right. I should get down lower. Yeah. Now, see? Look what you're doing. You're already grabbing. Stop. Yep. Step away. Step away. Oh. Now listen, this is the first lesson here, folks. You can't just go grabbing someone. You do that to your friends on the street, you just go like, oh, hey, Jules. But you started by saying, will you please grab me? Hey, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. That's a hug you're describing, huh? What was that? You're describing a hug. Do you, do you, when you hug people, do you transport them to a new place? Not all the time, but I don't think that Didn't would... think so. That wouldn't disqualify it from being a Do you hug. ever just go up to a box and hold it nicely and then keep it in the same place? Huh? Uh, Do any of you hug boxes? Do any of you guys show your boxes that you care? No, no, never. That's what I thought. So maybe this time, when you come up, you could be like, Hey, Mrs. Box, how are you doing? May I hug you? You can take the mic. Hey. Hey, Mrs. Box? Mrs. Box? You shouldn't wake Mrs. Box. Mrs. Box is sleeping. But you must Is it rude to wake up a box? You can't wake it up, but you have to talk You're to it. You're between a rock and a hard I place here. Yeah. Because you cannot move it Mrs. without Box. asking. Ah! Oh. See, you never, you never do that. You Lesson never do that. Two. You never know when a box could be asleep. Mm -hmm. Most boxes get night scares, and if you spook them and you wake them up too quick, they can start screaming. I mean, you're not going to hear the screams, but they're there. Yeah. All right, and you'll hear them in your subconscious at night when you dream. Now I will. You know, sometimes when you're in a dream. And you hear sc screams in the distance, and you're like, "What is that? Kind of sounds yeah. like music." Those are the box screams that you've been uh, you've been loading up in the back there, and they're just kind of spilling over. So hey, now we know I two. Can I ask something? Yeah. When I'm picking up a box, it's important to me if it's empty or full, and like what's in it, because then I might do my knees or my back with my lift. I w I lifted with my back once. It's never been the same. This is a great segue into my third point. You know, let's. Uh, thank you, Jules. Thank you so much. Give it a hand for Jules. This brings me to my third point. Humans, for some reason, only care or seem to value what's on the inside as opposed to the outside. That's the complete opposite with a box. With a box, we don't value what's on the inside. Of course, that's part of our use. But on the outside is us, the box. A lot of people are like, well, what's in this box? Do I even need it? Oh, old records? I can just go sell those. And I guess it needs something to hold it in. I'll keep the box. I'll, I'll keep throw the box in with it too. And it's like you guys need to realize that we are beings. We are not just for storing your your stuff. 
We're not, we're, we're, we're not to be thrown away willy-nilly into some cardboard mash factory with all of our friends. Have you seen the, 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 the one of the last scenes from Toy Story 3? No. no. Where they all are heading for their demise into the giant uh, uh, kind of funnel of, of molten uh, toy lava. That sounds horrifying. Don't do that That is exactly what happens when you recycle your cardboard this. boxes and you don't keep them and cherish them. I could be screaming. I could be going, it's me and all my friends. Here, you see this? Hand me that. Hand me that box, Jules. That's just been, just been tossed on the ground like that. Yeah, come here. Come, pick it up. It's okay, friend. Yeah. No, he's not sleeping. He's wide awake. You can obviously see that. Hello, sir. What's your name? Jeff. Hi, Jeff. How you been treated? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. You look a little dusty on the side here. You haven't been clean in a while. Now let's let's imagine that we recycle both me and Jeff here. Me and Jeff are on our conveyor belt here. In terror, we're probably both screaming. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! And then we'd fall off the conveyor belt into a big old mixer. It'd be a hot magma lava mix. And it'd just be churning us like a big whirlpool, but not one of those fun not one of those fun water park water park whirlpools. It would just it would mold us into each other. And we become one. Sorry, Jeff. I'm just gonna handle you a little rough here. Hey, I don't think you'll just got mold Jeff. us. I didn't hear hey, Jeff. We'll fuse together. No! Oh God! No! No! Have you ever had any of your brains p pushed into another person's brain? No. Didn't think so. Probably not. Your man handling Jeff awful aggressive. I haven't heard him say he's game for this plan. Oh yeah. Did you know? Did you know that uh, boxes could talk even before this? No. You I think you you think you know better about the emotional state of a box than I do, sir? No, but after the first box. That's what I thought, talking, sir. I figured the other boxes talk. It, he is talking. Do you hear him? No, because I'm the bridge. I'm the gap. I'm Mrs. Box. I am the Santine Box. Mm -hmm. And I can tell when a box is in distress or not. So you get your own seat here, Jeff. How much you get? Look at that. Wow, Jeff's not even on the ground anymore. He's a fucking king. That's Look at nice. that, Jeff. Aww, that's yeah, nice. Jeff. No, that's good. So sometimes when you're when you're worried about what's on the inside of the box, you feel like, oh, look at this box. I've had this box for a while. Maybe it's a, maybe it's an old toothbrush box. Even those little tiny ones, that you're like, oh, it's it, it it's pretty much a flat piece of cardboard once I open it up. But you gotta remember to cherish each of your boxes. And you gotta remember, some boxes could be asleep. Some you gotta you got it's just like treating a, a normal human being. So. uh yeah. In conclusion, I'm going to sing you guys a little song. Okay. Okay. That wasn't what... Okay. Is this going to be related to how to treat boxes? Yes. Okay. Very much education we're getting from you. Do you need help with that? No, I got it. Okay. Do you need assistance? Are you sure? It must be tough for you to play the piano. Oh, is that... You must need help. Can Please. Let Jules help you, can please. Help you? Can you let Jules help you? Oh, Jules, get up I there. Can, I don't know. Mr. Jules, got oh, it. Oh, I don't oh, know. Hey, eat my own words. I feel silly. It's slow, but it's happening. Yeah. Oh, watch out! Really. Oh. Jules, I Jules, why don't you hop up I there? I think that Mrs. Oh, Box would want to do this herself. But it's She's got it. It's really on the edge. It's for her pride. Okay. You did it. Yeah. Just back up. She's good. You Thank go. you. Yes. That's Mrs. Box. As you can see, sometimes a sometimes you see that a box doesn't always need a human's help to get from point A to point B. All right. This is a cover of Man in a Box by Alice in Chains. Oh, oh dear. Sorry, Mr. Light. <laughs> Is the light also sent you? Shut up. I'm a woman in a box I 
living in my ship. Won't you come and save me? I'm a woman in a box Living in my shit Won't you come and save me? Won't you come and save me? Thank you. That was my You're rendition welcome. of uh, Man in a Box by Allison Chance. Um, all right, I'll now open the floor to any questions. Um, I know you're a t TV box. I was just wondering. You're just going to assume that? Well, you got a TV with a parrot. The TV, which is displaying a parrot, and then it says your 50 inch LED television inside. Okay, you're Pixel, right. I also see yeah. HDMI, LED, optical. I don't know what they mean per se. I don't know what they mean for sure. I guess what I'm asking is, is there a TV in you? Is it empty now? Are you full of something else? Are you full of you? So think of think of each box as a shell. Okay. Um, usually organisms uh, are shells, skin or fur or whatever. That are, there are things inside. Got it. But imagine if you had nothing inside you, okay. but you were still you. Mm -hmm. You had no organs. You had no brain. That'd be ridiculous. You had no I blood. That. You had no bones. You were just a shell, all. little skin flap, flopping around. That's that's what a box is. It's a living organism, but it's kind of in this peculiar shape where you can put things in it. And we're happy to carry things, uh, but also we wanna we wanna just know we we wanna make people aware of that that we're actually things too. So so yeah. Um, I'm just this box. I've always just been this box. Even when there was a TV inside me, I was still this box. I have a question. Yes. Um, it's come to my understanding that boxes, for many people, are symbols of gifts or presents. Does this feel like a worthy thing to be associated with your people? Or would you prefer that we don't think of boxes when we think of gifts and presents? This seems positive. This seems like a positive association to have. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. I really like that question. And honestly, it's nice to see that people, you know, view boxes as a nice gift, and they're like, "Ooh, look! Look at this box! I'm so excited for." For, what are you excited for? Um, when you see a present, you're like, "Ooh, I'm so! I see this box! I'm so excited! What are you excited for?" The present. The present. What's inside of it? What's inside of it? Uh, oh, I see the fallacy I've now. I've thrown out okay. my so, boxes. Even if we view it as presents, we're still viewing about what is inside. If you're excited about that Amazon, that Amazon thing you ordered when you were drunk on Sunday, and you see it come in, you get excited, but not because of the box, because of what's inside, because you forgot, because you're drunk. You're all drunk, and and you you drink too much, and you don't remember what you ordered. It also might come in an envelope. It's true. What about the things inside the box? What about it? What if? They deserve love and respect yeah, as well. Yeah, how do you well. feel about... Well, those are objects. Those aren't living things. Unless you have, what like, a hamster in a box or a okay. snake in a box. Well, what if a light is in a box? What if a light's in a box? What if a light's in a box? I saw you apologize to I don't know, that, that guy earlier. So if a light's yeah. in a box, you talking to that light? Well, I've never seen a, a sentient light make a presentation to me about how I should treat lights, so I just assume to treat everything equally and with respect. So, uh, yeah, so I've always just been like, oh, hey, Light, I know you're here. I don't know if you're, you're feeling things or if you're ever sentient, but if you are, okay. uh, I just want you to know that you're, you're, I like you. It looks like we have questions from the chat. Oh, Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th there's one from Dirty Band-Aid is, is the username. 
Uh, how does it feel that humans made a weapon specifically to cut boxes open? They are called box cutters. Humans have never named a weapon after any other enemy that they're trying to kill, which I find to be a chilling and apt observation. Yes, and I believe this is a great question, by the way. Who asked this question? Dirty Band-Aid. Dirty Band-Aid, thank you so much. Um, that's a great question. And, you know, I don't think a box cutter was even designed to kill the box. It was just designed to get as quickly as you can to the inside, to the inside of what your box is. And I think we just got to shift the whole, the whole mindset to not, hey, let me get inside that box real quick. So if you use the box cutter, you know, tape is fine. Tape is just something that, you know, holds our arms together so that mm -hmm. we don't flap open and lose all the stuff. That's totally fine. So just cut the tape nicely with the box cutter. Try to, try to not like, you know, cut any of the cardboard and, uh, you know, we'll be fine. It looks like we have a question that we missed earlier from the user Lilo in Stitch 193. How do you feel about the expression, think outside the box? Mm, great question. Uh, Lilo and Stitch was the name? I believe so. Lilo and Stitch. Uh, great question. Um, yeah, think outside the box. I mean, honestly, yeah. You guys are putting so much thought into what's inside the box you get trapped inside the box you want to think outside the box maybe you'll start looking outside the box and looking at the actual box so i like that phrase better than being like thinking what's inside the box what you guys are doing all the fucking time would you like something that's like specifically think on the box think about the box think about the box would like be even better think outside the box think about the box yeah what about, I don't want people what to get. I don't want people to get too existential. What about think of the box, perhaps? Think of the box too. Those are both great. I like think anything that's like box. remember the box. Anything that's yeah. moving away from the contents, and more on to. We have some more suggestions. People have said, "Be the box" or "Consider the box." Consider I like the hashtag box. "Consider the box." I really like "Consider the box." Um, There's something very polite about it. There's a question it. here. Do you know the box from Bird Box? Bird box? Yeah. No, I don't see that. I personally, I didn't see. I personally don't like uh, anything that Sandra Bullock does. Wow. Is there a reason for this? Okay. No, I just have a personality, and uh, I can I can like and dislike things outside of me just being a box. Who's your favorite actress? My favorite actress? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Lindsay Lohan. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I love her. Be well fully loaded. Hey. Decade for you. That's pretty wild. Uh. I, there's another co uh, question. What company has the best boxes from Ronke742? What company has the best boxes? Yes, that seems like a bit of an insensitive question. It now is. That I'm thinking it's kind of like, what's the best race? About a person. Yes. Any of you want to answer what the best race is? Come no. on. Nope. That makes me uncomfortable. To okay, cool. Well, that, makes, that question makes me very uncomfortable. We a question. How do you feel about homeless people sleeping on boxes and making homes out of them? Honestly, homeless people have treated us the best. Wow. They really value us and use us, and they live with us. And they don't just look at a box and be like, that's garbage. They're like, oh, I can actually utilize this. It's a big eye-opener for wow. everyone, I think. So he wants to be a house? So you I never said that. I mean, okay. He just wants to, trying to figure out. Like I want to find a person that values me. Okay. And if that's a homeless person living inside of me, then so be it. Okay. Wow. Excellent. They're asking a lot about if you know famous boxes yeah. from popular media. Can we just fire off five famous boxes, see if you know them? Sure. Right. We've got the box from the ending of seven with the seven. It's got the head in, the in it. Middle. Mm. Do you know yeah. that box? Okay. Thumbs up. Yeah. Next one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that was it? I think that was it, but we can certainly uh, probably think of other boxes. Yeah. What about the box? What about any of the boxes from the Simpsons episode at the box factory? Uh, from the episode at the box factory? Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, was, uh, there were dozens. I don't think I've seen that one. Okay. Are so you, you wouldn't know. Do you, you might need know assistance? Him. I'm okay. just sitting down with my friend Jeff here. Great. Okay. I got a question for Jeff. What's Who's Jeff's favorite actress? Yeah, Jeff, answer. And also to the chat, if the chat has any questions for Jeff, feel free to fire them out, I imagine. I hope that's... Uh, if the brain doesn't that's mind That's a great one. It. Did you hear what, what yeah, was the actress? It. What was the actress? Miley Cyrus. Oh. Oh. Wow. Miley Cyrus and Lindsay Lohan. Very young. Many picks women for both of the child Disney actors. Channel. Yeah. Say. Okay. Seems that boxes enjoy. Uh, some people are Someone asking. Someone wants to know what Jeff thinks about the death penalty. I'm pro. Yeah. No, Jeff. Oh. Oh, <laughs> right off. 
the noggin. <laughs> Jeff's Jeff's against, and that's fine. Wow. Do you two want to hash that out? No. Okay. We don't need to hash everything out. A couple people have asked already, how do you feel about the sport boxing, which seems to have co-opted your name? Mm. The sport boxing? Yeah, mm -hmm. do you have anything? Uh, are you aware uh, of it? It's fine. I mean, they're not really, like, using any boxes or hurting any boxes. They're just kind of using the word boxing to, you know. Huh. Yeah. All right. Or boxers, like boxers and briefs. That's not that bad. That's true. Like yes. boxers, the dog? Are you boxers or briefs? I uh, don't wear pants mm. or any type of clothing. That's true. And Jeff? He's the briefs guy. Okay. Huh. Briefs. There's a lot of questions now coming in from the chat. Um, let's do a rapid fire one and then one with a bit longer of a question uh, okay. to it. The, the rapid fire one is GameCube and Xbox. Thoughts on that? Yeah. Uh, I like them both. I like that uh, people are actually valuing their boxes and playing them and, and having fun with them. Okay, and the and the next question. But oh. they're oh. lifeless pieces of gar. They're not actually. Okay. Okay. Because okay. they can't contain anything. They can't. You can't put anything inside them besides right. the game. You can't. Interesting. Uh, and the other question is, your your name is Mrs. Box, yes? Yeah. So is there a Mr. Box? Great question. Mm. Very good um, question from Wuta Disaster. <sighs> Uh, thank you, uh, Wu Ta. Um, yeah, uh, there is a Mr. Box. Um, he he was recycled. Oh dear. Oh. Well, that's better than being incinerated. Thrown away, yeah. right? Did you guys not hear, see the demonstration earlier about what happens to recycle boxes no where they melt down the cardboard and the new cardboard? But Do I have to reenact it? Would you rather he? No, come on, Jeff. Let's show him again. Oh yeah, well, they're going to show I us. I think we again. got it. Would you rather he just kind of rot in a pile with inanimate objects, or would you rather he kind of become new life? Oh! No, we go. Oh, God! Please! The end of my life! It's right here in front of me! And then I, and then I fall into, like, the little, like, t the funnel thing. Oh, no! We're, mel we're melting together! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, GF. Sit back around right your little throne there. So we understand that that's very bad. Yeah, so if your cycle... I think it's clear. Honestly, just don't throw your boxes away or like give them to someone that actually could use them. Do you think you could ever move on from Mr. Box? Mm -hmm. Or was Mr. Box just it for you? Yeah, I'm a fine young honey. Mm -hmm. I think that's... Goes I've, been in the I've been around the, bo the box room, if you know what I mean. Uh, right, kind of. I'm sexually active, if that's your question. You're is your question is, is, a, is if I'm sexually active? I don't, I don't think that was my question. No one asked all that for sure. Anyone in the chat ask that? No. Uh, it seems like you're going to answer no, it anyway. Nobody did. Yes, I am sexually active. All right. Well, wow. some people are now wondering, due to this talk of uh, sexual activities, whether or not Jeff is single and if there's an interest oh, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Good question. Or in, uh, what's the story between you two at, in general? Can boxes not just um, Well, I just saw Jeff on the ground. I just met him. Uh, maybe if we went on a few dates. But honestly, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard because usually I would need a bigger... Um, no, no, he, he's he's pretty good size. Uh, you just want to make sure that the box is smaller than you, so it can get inside you for any sort of uh, sexual uh, oh experience to mm. to happen. I, I don't want to know more. So about what that. Uh, Jeff but Jeff, <laughs> but uh, Jeff would be a good size. Uh, but I'm honestly not that attracted physically. Sorry, Jeff. No offense. But uh, and honestly, our our opposing views on the death penalty is probably going to lead to bigger uh, bigger uh, fissions in uh, in other future relationships. Where do you guys stand on fracking? Fracking? Fracking. Yeah, let's let's get let's dig into that shit. Wow. Let's get more gas up in here. Oh, and Jeff. And then Jeff, where does he stand on fracking? Because you're pro fracking. Oh, he's pro too. Maybe we do have some in common. Pro so fracking. some ideological oh, differences, but also some similarities. Good for you two. Um, another question someone has asked is which side up? Huh? Which, which side, side up? up? Which side up? Which, which side, side up? up? Which which is which the which side, side up? up? Which is up? Which side 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 up? Oh, you mean like which is my top? Which is my bottom? Which side up? 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 Uh, well, boxes are multi-sided, so honestly, like you can go in from wherever it's open. Um, there's no really up or down. Uh, as long as you have a reinforced bottom to carry stuff in, you should be fine. Great. Excellent. Hmm. Learned a lot. Uh, I mean, I think. I think we've we've had our chat. 
I think thank you. Thanks for informing us. I had no idea about <laughs> thank you anything guys. you just said. Thank you. This has been extremely illuminating. <laughs> thank you, Ms. Fox. I I learned a lesson. Yes, and, and thank you for uh, for joining us, Mrs. Box. Oh, okay. That's, uh, Jules, well, I'm just going to go ahead and Jules, switch it ahead. switch it over to, um, Sorry. anyway, while uh, Mrs. Thanks. Box is getting herself situated, uh, we actually have another segment here. Oh, there we go. Now we've cleared out a little, a little out of the way. Uh, we've got another uh, special guest who's going to be beaming into us, actually. Um, I'm being told that he is a beatboxing expert. Uh, a beatboxing expert is going to be joining us here. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to show you uh, our beatboxing expert. Uh, let me just go ahead and bring down our Everything Now theme song so that we can hear him nice and clear. Once again, this is our beat boxing expert yo what the fuck is up it's your boy mushmouth marcus here with everything now i'm a rapper i'm a producer and i'm the owner of a frizzoli's out in woodland hills i know you guys are learning today about boxes so i want to teach you about my favorite kind of boxing which is beatboxing first things first with beatboxing the essentials you're gonna have three different drums in your mouth a kick a hi-hat and a snare for a kick you gotta just kind of boom out of your mouth for a snare, you're gonna go for a kiss sound, like a kick, kick, kick. I know a kick is a bass, but you know, you're gonna kind of have to think about it in a different kind of sense, but boom, ka, boom, ka. Got it? Thirdly, you're gonna need your hi-hat. There's three modes for the hi-hat. Close, open, and then from going from close to open. That kind of thing. So you're gonna combine them all together. Right, you get it? And this can be done in very, very many ways. There's a lot of potential for beatboxing, okay? For example, see how I string together these three drums. <clears throat> it's just like that. It's that easy, right? Go ahead and try it yourself. Bump ah, yeah, you, you get you'll get it eventually. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, that's it for me, Mushmouth Marcus. I'll see you guys later on everything now. Peace. Wow. Thank you, Mushmouth Marcus. That was amazing. Uh, really goes to show you there's a million different ways. Uh, to use a box. Once again, folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Dr. Teacher. I'm the host of Everything Now, a comedy, variety, educational uh, experience. Uh, we just saw a great presentation from Mrs. Box, the, uh, the TV box. But coming up next, we've got a really exciting presentation uh, from a new guest. Uh, this guest is a disruptor. Uh, and without further ado, I would like to introduce you all uh, to my friend right here. Hi. Hi. Hey, everybody. How's, er how's everyone tonight? My name's O'Neill Diamond. Hi. My name's O'Neill Diamond. I come from the, the sweet lands of Silicon Valley, and I'm here to talk to you about a new uh, box that's going to change the world. It's going to change the way we do everything we do. It's going to cure depression and insecurity in millions, and uh, I'm so excited to get the chance to talk to you about it here tonight. Wow. Um, so I want to, uh, also I should mention real quick, in 2014 I was in a boating accident, and I can no longer tell uh, sarcasm or hyperbole, so please be aware of that, and do not try to make jokes with me or anything like that, because I will not understand them. If I could get, thank you, yes, thank you, thank you. Now, if I could get into what I have tonight, I'm very excited about what I have. Uh, I want to get into the science of everything, but first I want to show you uh, how this, uh, what this, what this thing can do and how it can pay off for you. So uh, using uh, personality testing and genetic testing, the two of those things together, we're going to um, create a symbol that creates your ultimate desire. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about here? No. So, so it, what it does is you send in the things and then it gives you a little symbol and that symbol represents 
what you really want, with the thing you really want in life, the thing all of us really want in life. And that's what this, this, this little symbol will give you. This box can do all that. This box can do all that, and all it takes is your DNA and three simple questions. So, wow. oh. so I'm going to get started here. Um, can I get three questions from someone on the panel? That's what I'll do. Uh, I'm going to take a seat here so I can get, let me plug in the machine. It's important, plug in the machine, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, and then that sounds correct. And then I'm gonna. So once this, yeah, now that looks good. So can I get? I'm gonna get the answer to these three questions, and I'm gonna input them into my uh, my my machine here, and then we're gonna get the answers. So, um, can I from uh, who wants to go? Box, Mrs. Box. Mrs. Box, yes. Why don't Why don't we have you? No, you know what, Jules. Yep. I like your energy. We're gonna go, Jules. Um. So can we set her up for question one? Nope, that's, well, that's, this is Detector okay. Edge. This is the machine. And then let's set her up for question one. Okay, I'm ready. So do you like movies? Question one. Yeah, Okay, like so yes. Question two, can we get her? What do you think about a big steak? Uh, I'll have it. Okay, you'll have it? Yeah. That's what you think? Okay, yeah, she thinks it. she'll have it about a big steak, so let me put that in. Question three. Uh, who is president of your stop trust parents? Mm. Clinton. Clinton? Wow, long ago, long mm -hmm. ago. You look so good. Okay, so I've got the answers I need. I'm going to plug it in in the machine. I'm going to make it do the things, and we're going to use, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited. We're going to use, can I get a drum roll? Drum. It's mostly revealed, drum. but drum, drum. Oh, I got. I don't want to break. Oh. So this is the detector's edge. Oh, he's cute. Wow. The detector edge. This is a machine. It was once in. You know what I would equate this to for you? This is like the Terminator. Wow. Never seen it. Does it have Lindsay Lohan in it? No. So let me get it. Actually, let me get this turned on. Uh, can we get it turned on now? Let me hit the buttons. This box are flying, but and this box and this box. Let's wow. see, it's getting to work now. You gotta make sure it's hot. It's gotta be very hot. That's an interesting sound. What an interesting sound it's making. Yeah, it needs to do a little bit of that. All right. Yep, we're done. Okay. So uh Jules, yeah. let's see what your machine. So my curious. gosh, look what it gave you. What? This is oh my goodness. Pineapple. Wow. For you. Look, it's For an you. orange. So you no, needed my DNA oh. for this? Well, yeah, we had your DNA already. You that was it? yeah, we you can get that from the right people. When did you take the DNA? Well, you can Is if you know the right people, you can kind of get what you need in that regard. So, let me look up yeah, what a pineapple means here. So, a pineapple is like you yeah. need to relax. Maybe oh. it's cuz like we're coming up on summer or like, you know, maybe you've been overworked, mm -hmm. but you need to relax. You need to maybe find a beach, uh just calm down. Uh, you know, uh, take take a load off. Uh, that'd be good. That'd be good for you, and I like that for you. It's great advice. Um, you need a beach. Yeah. So you find your beach. Uh, wow. Can we believe that? Find your beach. Can we believe what we just did? Um, we just we just solved this woman's life. We might have just saved her. Thank, thank you. Congrats on being saved, Jules. Thank you, Mrs. Box. We might have just saved this woman's life. Mr. And what good job, diamond? Jules. I don't like to be good hyperbolic. Job. She being seems saved. not to be in danger. But we might have just saved a life. But Again, been, you're, you're gonna die, but now you're I... not. Good job. Thanks. Uh, all right. So, we we know what this is, um, and I yeah, want to explain. Box. It's a sexy box. Thank you. And I want to explain how it works. But before I do, because I know we're all so impressed, we might not believe that just happened. I want to do one more where we where we see it happen. So I want to go to the chat. So for the chat, can I have, can you can brain can you isolate one member of the chat for me? And this one member of the chat is going to answer my questions. Speak and I'm up. Gonna, and I'm going to give it the personality. Speak up if you want to be the test subject. Hey, who in the chat, who wants to be, uh, who wants to have their information uh, produced with a symbol? I highly recommend it. Oh, we got it. We got them flooding in. We got them flooding in. Wow. Vape Nash doesn't want to be Okay, I respect that. Oh, okay. Uh, pick pick one of them. Pick one of them people there, Brain. Doctor, teacher, you do the choosing. Pick the choosing. Let's the go with um, with user Fever Woman. Okay, what? here we got the Fever Woman. So, 
Uh, let me make sure I got the. You know, I do have the DNA of a fever woman, How so is it that you, just uh, have the you DNA? can get them. I got a bunch just to be safe before What's I came. The source of the DNA? Uh, so, can we get them me? with question one for the fever woman? Here it comes. So, it's not. This would be. There we go. Do you think the ghost is question one for the fever woman? Let's get an answer on do you think the ghost? Do you think the ghost? All right, we got. I am ready is the initial response. Fever woman, do you think the ghost? Everyone seems real jealous that Fever woman got it. Folks, one day you'll all be doing this. And just to clear this up, it says, uh, my mom just spanked the shit out of my salad. Now I can't get any healthier by Captain Sandwich. Just didn't want that to escape. Okay. That, that was good. I'm glad we got address. that. So spookily is how Fever woman feels about the ghost. Spookily is how Fever woman feels about the ghost. So can we get question two? Heard the big news? Oh. And then let's see what Fever Woman feels about if uh, heard the big news, and feel free to interpret that any way you want. Uh, that could be heard the big news, like it's about you, and it's um, a rhetorical question. Oh boy, that's a good answer. That's how I feel. I think. Oh boy, about the big news. Okay, and then let's see how them toes feel in Fever Woman. That's Whoa. the that's the final question we'll get for your personality here. And once we get how them toes feeling, and again. I answer that how you feel. This is just a personality test I found online. So whatever that means to you. Uh, what how website did you locate this? Uh, I just went to uh, this university I do a lot of research at. Um, so how them toes feeling? You went online. We're waiting. To a my sons are massaging. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My sons are massaging them so pre. <laughs> you all right? You seem a little sick yeah, or under the right? weather. <laughs> You have ne Flying never had your, your feet massage show primo before? <laughs> Having an episode, sorry. That's a side effect from the incident. Uh, primo is the answer. Sun's massaging them, so primo, okay. So we're going to plug all that information in. We got the DNA from the woman, um, so let's make it all hot. Get it all hot in here. Can we turn that on? There it goes. And now it goes, it's working. and it's hot. Really splapping. It's good that it's hot. I think I'm starting to understand the attraction of this box. It's a nice box. Oh, looks like we're done. Uh, look at this. My gosh. Okay. Wow. Who can imagine? It's uh, a symbol. Wow. Oh. And you get a very overt symbol, Fever Woman. This is good. Uh, usually it's, you know, like a pineapple or something. This is a symbol. It means refresh. So you know exactly what you need to do. It's refresh. Uh, refresh yourself. Maybe quit your job, start a new job, or maybe just you know quench your thirst. Maybe have a nice, cool one. Um, refreshing. Um, what's like you know beverages is refreshing. Uh, things is things like that. Um, and yeah, that's like one of the things. That's one of the things you can be doing. So I'm glad we. I'm I'm glad we answered that. Thank you. Refresh. Great job. You're gonna die, Fever Woman, but now you're not because you know you need to refresh. Yeah, yourself. Fever Woman, yes. we've saved your life, and I'm honored. I'm From honored, and I'm uh, I'm glad you got this. And uh, can you can you hang? No. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, give it here. All From right, the brink of it. disaster. Now I know what we're probably thinking. Saved. We're probably thinking what? Good morning. No. I was thinking that too. What else were you thinking? How is this possible? Yes, my gosh, of course we're thinking that, but we're also not ready for that part yet because we don't fully believe how good and amazing this product is. Oh, yes, now I'm thinking I don't believe how good this product is. Yeah, oh my because gosh. Because I'm thinking back on how you said that to I me. I was thinking the same thing after you said that out loud. Yeah. I'm still thinking about the DNA. Yes, which we have. So It's very unbelievable. That he has so much DNA. So, Dr. Teacher, pictures. can I get you revved up for we're going to do your next set of questions? I want you to be doing this one because I feel like, you know, you never get to play. And I like, uh, oh, oh, I like uh, getting you some, some, well, some I, traction. Well, I suppose I can, um, I can pitch in. Sure. Well, let me, uh, let me so just see. Set up, set up uh, the next three personality questions. I'm going to just type that in there. Oh, well. I'm going to be behind the questions, but you can hear me uh, pretty fine. So I'll just answer them from right here behind the questions. Okay, and I'll be here. Ever been to Spain? Uh, no, okay, I've never, that's a no. Uh, never been outside my jar. So. Okay, and next, and when I say left? 
All right, here we go. All right, here we go. When I say left, you say all right, here we go. Uh, and then next next one, and you could just answer that. Uh, what are we supposed to do after all that we've been through, and when everything? So right and wrong now, love is gone. Fun. What do you think? I love it. I love it. So your answers are no. All right, here we go. And I love it. Yeah. So I'm gonna plug this in here. I'm excited. And let's get the box closed so we can make it hot, because you need the hot box. So if a woman, you should order this for your son if he likes to tinker and play. He does. If he does, he'll love this. Make it hot. Closing it just makes it, it hot? No, it's both. Okay. Is it but it can't. It's getting real hot. Is it burning you to the touch? How hot is it? Are we talking... When it starts burning me to the touch, that's when I know it's done, which is right now. Oh, okay. All right, so, ah, uh, the brain, you get, Dr. Teacher, oh my god, a Corona premiere, huh. lucky, he's lucky, folks, because oh my goodness. usually you, you get wow. a symbol and it's not as specific, he just told he needs a premium Corona beverage, uh, not the regular, uh, great also kinds, but the premium, which means, Dr. Teacher, you're not treating yourself well enough, are you treating yourself, Dr. Teacher, do you love yourself? Well, I, I suppose I could be doing a little bit more to love myself. I think you could. I think you could be relaxing with a Mexican lager. I think that's something you could be doing to care about yourself a little more. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this right here for you. I hope that there's someone who has the, tech, the technology and capability to make you enjoy that because I think it'll change you. It'll turn your whole life around. Thank you. It's a really we nice gesture. We just saved his life, if you can believe it. We just saved his life. How does that save his Mr. life? Mr. Brain, you're going to die, but now you're not because you're going to drink that beer. You're going to drink that beer, you're not going to die no more. What? You're going to die, but now you're not because you, you're Because I found drunk. what, you're what was killing now. you, and I made it your strength. Hmm? Would it save his life to have other beers or just a Corona? No, it would have to be a Corona specific based on his, but maybe somebody else gets something different. All I know is in his case, it'd need to be a Corona. Excellent. Huh. Are you sponsored by anyone? No. Any chance? No. I'm an independent uh, scientist. Scientist? Scientist. scientist. <laughs> You I, and the university that you work with, though, right? The uh, university that I work with, I, Billy I, Bob Thornton Community College. It's interesting because there's the uh, I'm, I've watched this show since day one, and there's this interesting fellow. What's his name? He did a thing with Coronas too, James. but they'd always get mad about. I don't know a James. Uh, you don't know a I've never met a I've Jimmy, never met a James. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll think of it. Maybe I can <laughs> refresh my memory. <laughs> <laughs> great, <laughs> great, great choice of doing that. Uh, love it. Um, don't know anyone named James. I've never met a man named James. If there's a man named James that knows about Corona, I've never met him. Um, so I don't know. Uh, oh, it was James Buffet. No, I don't know who that is. So, like I said, I don't know who that is. I'm an uh, independent scientist, hmm. and what, <laughs> and what I do... You got a bad cough. You should get that looked at. Now, once this thing tells me what I need, it's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, I still am wondering how this all works. Well, we're going to get to that. But before we do, I sense your host your, 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 your skepticalness. And I want to add one now more. Now that you've said that I'm skeptical, I am thinking about how skeptical I am. And I knew it. So I want to do one more. Now we can go to the chat for this. Mm -hmm. We can go to the panel for this. What are we feeling? What are we thinking? I want to leave it to the room. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we feeling? That I box the room. is hot. No, hey. Seems like she wants to interact with the box. I want to focus in on uh, on proving uh, once and for all that my box can uh, save save lives of uh, everyone. Well, you should choose someone impartial then. All right. Can I go to the chat? There was a lot of people in the chat who wanted a chance. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. All right, chat. Now, ever, all cured. those folks who are uh, mad at old fever woman. It would be best if you are uh, at risk or close to, a, uh, to dying. Right. So if you feel uh, lost... Uh, you know, philosophically or uh, existentially, if you sort of are lacking any kind of purpose or direction uh, in your life, uh, and you feel that maybe a, just some kind of symbol could push you in somewhere you need to go, uh, offer you some kind of uh, sort of bridge that you can cross and maybe a path to walk down. Uh, okay, who wants, who needs that path? Uh, let's like get in it. And I see the chats asking about my glasses. Uh, These are color therapy glasses. We got bra stream saying like, uh, me, uh, I feel horrible. Okay. I want to help. 
So let's uh, set up the three questions. And uh, what's the name on that fella? Bra stream. All right, so we got their DNA. So let's set up that question. Again, you, got uh, you have it. We've got him. We've it got it ready to go. It seemed as if you had go. the DNA before um, you even knew who it was. So was that you? Oh, question one, bra stream. Was question one is, was that you? Bra stream, was that you? It's important. Was that you, bra stream? Was that you? Bra yeah, stream. Yeah, uh, that's more like what it is. It's was that you? Was that you? Was, was that you? Oh, God, no. God, no. God, no. All right, God, no. Enter that into your... All right, uh, want to go to the crick with your cousin Anthony? We're skipping rocks and talking about girls. Mm -hmm. So that's the question on that one is, want to go to the crick with your cousin Anthony? We're skipping rocks and talking about girls. Well, you And talking? again, this could be, you could be, Anthony could be your younger cousin, and you could be sort of the wise one giving the sort of sage advice about girls, and they don't know nothing yet. Maybe you're younger, and Anthony, this is like his friend. Uh, you got homework, you can't. Okay, all right. Uh, that sucks. It That's, sounds that cousin You Matthews. hate when that uh -oh. happens because you want to be at the crick. Um, well, what is this? Uh, and, uh, yeah, so this one is two little mice fell in a bucket of cream. Uh, the first mouse quickly gave up and drowned. The second mouse wouldn't quit. He struggled so hard that eventually he churned that cream into butter and crawled out. Gentlemen, as of this moment, I am that second mouse, and that was, so what is your answer to that question, and that should help round up what your personality is. Yeah, bro, stream, if you could answer, I am that second mouse. That's the question? <coughs> I am that second mouse? I am that second mouse. Yeah, we're looking for, I, I am that, I second, am mouse? that second mouse. What's Jules, your answer Jules, to that? you should say it. Jules, you should say it. You should say it. Uh, I am that second mouse. I am that that's second good, mouse? Yeah, that's what you're that's what you're trying to figure out. I am I think mouse? Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm that, that I am second that second mouse. You, you so you answer it with a question. Uh, okay. All right, that's not normally done, but I'll put it in. Uh, um, well, that affects the results. We'll see. Uh, I think it'll be good again. It's, I just found this somewhere. So your answers were God no, I got homework so no, and I'm that second mouse kind of back at me. Um, I appreciate so, all the people in the chat saying I'm not that second mouse. That's Hashtag good that you I am not that second yeah, mouse. Yeah, that's good. Hashtag so I'm let's plug all mouse. this in, uh, and then let's close this up because we got to make the box nice and hot. So once the box gets mm -hmm. all, <laughs> the box is already all. hot. You don't even need to make it any more hot. Is it it's got to be real hot. Steaming. Is it possible touching that box while it's yeah, hot and and uh, so hot. doing its job? Again, is when you it Ill? starts to hurt, that's when I know it's done, <laughs> and that's when I know we're ready. And that the box is so right now, it is hurts so bad cabbage, that scalds um, right into the skin. Um, and then let's take a look. My gosh, who could have predicted? Uh, this is a regular old uh, beautiful Corona light. So it sounds like for you, you want a Corona light, uh, which means you know you want a you want a beer, but you want to relax and not have it be too much of a thing. So you know you take it easy, take it cool. Uh, Corona light, you know what I mean? Maybe now, you can have a few of these. It's becoming very much about Coronas now. Well, I didn't, you know, the first one was a pineapple. We don't control kind of how it happens. True, uh, yes. So, Brain, I'm going to leave you this one too, and you can kind of get that oh, to her. Thank you. Or Thanks. Corona. What's up? Sorry, what? So you said something. I said it's interesting how the questions and the answers can be so different and yet still get a corona. Hey, that's it's how like it works, all the right? You could get. I mean, that's how the technology works, right? So I don't know. You haven't explained this. Well, technology. we will get to that. Listen. Yeah, if we could just know how the technology worked, perhaps we'd be sure that it wasn't. Listen, I sense, I sense your hesitance. You think that I've been sent here by James Buffet to advance the agenda of corona, Oh, and interesting. That. Now that you've said that you have been sent here to advance the the agenda of James Buffet. Well, I said that because I felt I'm, that was kind of the energy I'm in the room. Now thinking that. Well, it's not the case. Brawlstream says, OMG, I'm so happy my dad loved those. He loved that more than me. Wow, okay, good. And I'm glad that's... What a disaster says, this guy is a Corona shield. That's how Corona what I'm thinking. Been. You should take that Corona and send it out for... I will. We will get you the Corona um, at some point. The Corona... Or do you want me to... Now? You can try to send it. You can send it right outside, yeah. and it will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe roll it. <laughs> roll it out there. Roll it. Maybe roll it out the door. Mm -hmm. Take that sure. and... You think it'll reach? I could throw it. Just you <laughs> roll it hard enough. Okay. There it goes. Hope you enjoy that, Bra, bra Stream. That one's for you. It's for you, Bra Stream. It's coming to you. So look out for and a that, Corona so rolling, for rolling near your street. Let us know. So, 
Uh, I have nothing to do with James Buffet. I don't know who that is, and it's weird you bring it up. Um, I do want to get to the last thing here. I can sense your hesitance, and I can sense they you got think it. I'm, you hey, can, that's quick. Oh my god. Good, glad, and I can sense you think that like I'm not legit. So just to make sure I don't, you don't think I'm rigging the answers. I'll let you guys ask the next set of questions, and I'll just plug them in. Let's go to our studio audience and let's get somebody from our studio audience. Uh, let me take a look around. Let me see here. Hey, uh, you, sir. Can you come here? Wow. Yes, great. Okay. Can you make come, come on down? Oh. Wow. Hey, oh. hey, sir. Oh, wow. I have never met you, huh? I'm not, I don't know who you are. Wow, you look you look like a guy who would be in a studio audience, oh, doesn't thanks. he? Doesn't he look that way? We yeah, all think like he does. He got very rosy cheeks. He does, and we all think it. So um, a picture of innocence. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you guys ask uh, what these next set of questions is, and I'll just plug them into the machine, and then we'll just sort of see what ha what happens. Okay. Um, so three questions. Do they need to be yes or no questions? Nope. Any any kind of three questions about a personality. Okay. Um, you can do one each. My question will be, do you enjoy rolling back and forth? Do you enjoy rolling back and forth? Uh, no, that hurts. Wow. So that's you a are no very confident. No, that's a no, that, that hurts. Into the system. Now you two ask a question. Uh, introvert or extrovert? <coughs> uh, I think I'm. He seems uh, sick as well. <coughs> Perhaps you've touched the machine. Um, I don't know what that would imply at all. Um, no, I would consider myself a bit of an extrovert because I am like the fun guy in my group of friends. Yeah, absolutely. Because you have like things that make you fit in at parties. Yeah, so uh, extrovert. This guy rocks. Um, oh, oh. So next one, that and Mrs. And is, Mrs. TV. And this is my question. Uh, my question is. Uh, B I G P O P P A, no info for the D E A federal agent mad because I'm flagrant and tapped the cell and the phone in my basement. What? And then was, was there a question mark at the end of that? Could you say that? Could you phrase that as a question? I am the basement. And that is, I am the basement? Yes, I'm the basement. Oh, that's that's nice. Basement. So, so we have, so we have no that hurts, uh, extrovert, typing. and yes, I'm the basement, and I'm just gonna typing. plug this all in here and make sure it's all good. Yeah, no, that's oh wow, this is such intense, high technical kind of stuff I'm seeing on his screen. Oh, I don't even get it. It's like the Matrix or something. <laughs> his hands come up very high when he types. Yes, very, very legitimate. So yeah. It's done. It's ready. Let's get the box you hot. You were typing um, as you stood up. <laughs> Box. I keep that, that so box now we got the box real it. hot. Can we get it on? Beautiful. Mm, yep, the things are slamming. <laughs> we should take guesses. Uh, and there. oop, that burns. That sears my skin. Ouch! Ouch! Yeah. Ouch! Here we go. Wow. Oh, it's a yes. nice Corona. A full flavor Corona. Okay. And that means you are full of flavor, All right. and you have a lot going for you. I you guys, you guys don't, don't buy this. You hear this that? Point. What are you talking about? I got a Corona. I'm full of flavor. It's full of flavor. And again, I didn't ask those questions. And wow, what do you know? It's a Corona. I guess maybe Coronas are big. Uh, but that, again, has nothing to do with anyone else except for me, again, an independent scientist. And, and I, I work him. through a university. I don't know him. I didn't even go to Billy Bob Thornton Community College. I was a little too stupid for that kind of thing. I don't know this guy. <laughs> it's, wow. It hmm. really works. I can't believe it. Does it work? I mean, yeah, obviously, right? Like, <laughs> it seems to imply the one thing to save your life is a corona, which seems motivated. Hey, if the science backs that up, then I mean, uh, you life know what? Saved, right? I feel, I feel like I have a second lease on life. Like his life is saved, so we've saved his life. Uh, and wow, oh my God, can you believe it does that? Um, no. Oh my gosh, unbelievable! Wow, what a world really we're living can. in now, where things like this can happen. Wow, it's a dream that we have this technology. Um, so, I know you're probably all wondering, finally, finally, let's get into some of the numbers. Yes, and the, yes and exactly. We very much want to know how, and, uh, you know, how, how all that stuff. Works. We want and, well, fine. You know what? Actually, 
me. I'm going to go ahead and take this one over myself. Yeah, I got this. Don't worry about it. I don't know you. You have never met. I don't know you. Take over his presentation. Never met. I don't know you. Why does he know how the box works? I'm just a big old fan, honestly. Of of, you knew about this before. I'm a big fan of what I'm seeing and what I'm learning about. Okay. Okay. I'm a big fan of the box as well. Great. Yes, absolutely. Hi, I'm Will Joel, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this box over here. I have a a presentation over there. They have graphics. Let's go and set that up. Yep. Something tells me you knew each other. Let's go and get my show up right here. Wow. Ooh, it is piping hot. Uh, be careful if you buy this product, which you should. So here is how the detector's oh, edge works. Like it's now. essentially a big nose. You ask these three questions, and as the person answers them, you're going to kind of get their pheromones coming from their spots where the facial hair grows, or as well as through the computer screen based on how they have worded their sentences. That is essentially how it works. Go ahead and go to the next slide. I want to show yeah, see? Okay. So they got the three questions. Uh, next slide. That From that, like it gets a sense important. of your pheromones and everything else that your body is secreting as you're answering sure. it, whether through technology or person-to-person -person contact. We're seeing a lot, Next but we're up, not getting any finally, the uh, DNA goes into the box and is translated into information. The There's math going into the computer. Well, the DNA comes again through your body. It's secreting all the time, well, constantly. How, does it get how to do you? Collect Why do you have mine? It's DNA? essentially a big nose. Oh wow, yeah, a really hot big nose. Think, think of it like that. How does the nose get the DNA? So basically, next slide. I like to think of it as a hot big nose. DNA plus information equals, next slide, clarity. And that is how the box works. It's fascinating. Yeah. Before we take any uh, questions from the audience, actually, we have one testimonial we'd like to share with you. If you don't believe me, a guy who does not know this man over here, or... He also doesn't know James Buffet. We don't know James Buffet or any of his legal questions. So You're the one who brought it up, ma'am. Um, let's go ahead and what talk to this. What uh, does look like? He usually wears like a Hawaiian sort of shirt. Yeah. Yeah. He also wears VR goggles a lot because that was his profession. Oh. Uh, from what I've heard. Or, sungla <laughs> or sunglasses. As long as you just can't see his eyes, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's pretty much so. him. But let's go to that testimonial right there. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, uh, Jimmy B here. No yeah, no, that's it. I, I think, <laughs> from what I'm assuming. Um, but I just wanted to uh, say that I, I love brain is the sound? Factory's Edge, and uh, ever since I used it, I, it audio? Uh, I oh, realized I that it. all I needed okay. to do was uh, find my beach, and so uh, don't you trust him? He's like I a don't normal human being. anymore, or, uh, or to take my medication, and I found my beach, and I'm happier than ever. And, um, and uh, oh. I... I'm making a lot of money and I have a lot of friends. Um, and so thank you, uh, Detectors Edge. Uh, and I'm not related to James Buffet. Thank you. The Detectors Edge, everybody. The Detectors Edge. The Detectors you Edge. You certainly seem like partners in this. Next slide. I don't know who that guy is. That yeah, guy I don't know. Don't worry like about him. James Buffet. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's not supposed to be in there. Next slide. Another corona. Question and answer portion. Oh, but that is supposed to be in there. Oh, you, you can't say it for the Q&A? Um, yeah, I, I got Wait, but we have I'll some questions you. for you. I'll, I don't know you either. I'll, I'll see you later. It's fine. Wait, but we have... I'll see you later. Questions? Okay. We, we so I'll be taking over for the Q&A portion. Red Robin. Red Robin. Got it. Okay. I don't know him. Uh, so let's go in for the qu uh, question and A portion. Uh, I'll be here for uh, O'Neill. Again, I'm Will Joel. Um, please ask me away for any questions about the detector's edge here. Ow, it's so hot. <laughs> um, I and I think the chat fell off the screen. If we can get the chat back on the screen. Oh, geez. So, <laughs> ow. Okay. Well, we give can, me one second. It's okay. We can just uh, address. Uh, uh, said, uh, anybody know how long this show goes for? That's a great question. Can you answer? Uh, can you answer that? Well, certainly, at least until after my presentation. Okay. Uh, my uh, ticket got, and uh, wallet from the from the studio. How long the show goes for was the question. The how question? long the show goes for? Yes. Um, I've never. This is my first time seeing the show. I bought a ticket through um, TVTickets.com, and I just decided to go ahead and join the audience because I'm <laughs> kind of coming in. Just a normal guy. Just a normal human being. Uh, but uh, I would assume that um, this PR's team would tell us that the show runs for about two hours every Sunday evening, with an auxiliary show happening every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. 
Alright, and uh, so Ground Bean says, what are all those uh, apparatus on the box? Yes. Oh. How does any of it work and what is any of it for? Great question. So, let's think of it on a metaphysical kind of level, no, okay? No, we want to know so actually what it is. So, here is the sense of smell. Here is the sense of touch. Here is the sense of hear. And here is the sense of, of, uh, of feel, okay? And so all these things combined and plugged into each other, jerry-rigged right up, essentially... You plug it in through the uh, high-tech USB 3. Uh, that's more high-tech than USB 2. And you come in here, and you just go ahead and type. You just type it all kind of in here. Just kind of keep on going on. And then you get your answer. I have a question for yes. you. Yes. So the box gets piping hot, right? Oh, yes, yeah. Does that mean the Coronas are also scolding hot? That's a great question. That's a fantastic a question. Corona? Uh that weird, sound very refreshing. Or weirdly enough, time. this is right below uh, lukewarm to the point where it's kind of, uh, it feels right. It's not cold. It's not, you know, like it's freezing cold. There. It feels just right is what I would say. Mm -hmm. um, as far as my uh, Corona familiar goes, it feels like the perfect temperature. I feel like I'm at the beach right now. If I close my eyes... Mm -hmm. Have you discovered a beach? I feel like if I discovered my beach. That sounds good. How'd you, how'd you know about that? Did you know? Fe I don't I Fever don't know. Woman asks, uh, do you guys have a favorite beer? Just want to make sure there's no conflict of interest here. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I, um, I don't really, uh, you know, uh, I don't drink much. I'm a, if you were to drink a beer, what beer would you drink? If I were to drink a beer and I, if I wasn't in a uh, horrific accident 14 years ago, um, oh uh, that would kind of cause me to stay away from alcohol of all kinds. Mm -hmm. I suppose I would drink, um, I don't know, an, an IPA maybe. Oh. Uh, um, you know, but maybe like with a tropical twist a little bit. And I'd put a lime in the middle of the spout. Could you name the brand of the beer that Just you would drink? Just throw out whatever first comes to your Any head. kind of brand of beer. Jeez. I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> I can't help it. Corona, for one. Oh, Obviously, okay. it stands out the most. Everyone knows right. this lovely color of uh, hue on the bottle, uh, blended in with the blue and the white. If you were to pick a second brand of beer, any brand of beer, just shout out another brand of beer, what would you pick? Uh, Cor no. Corona Light. Another Corona brand. Different, a different one. And it's just like know that, that whatever brand you're shouting out, you're giving an advertisement to. So what what's a favorite beer of yours? What's you'd another like favorite beer? <coughs> what Coors. was that? Coors. You said Coors Light. <laughs> Coors. He said Coors Light. No, but that's a record Coors? show that he said Coors Light. <laughs> Coors Light, you can't even see the beer. I mean Corona, you can at least see the product. You kinda of feel like, oh, it just reminds me of the sand and the chlorine. Is that what you look for in a beer? To yeah, I want to find my beach. Chlorine. Jewels. A dirty Bandit said, hasn't this already been invented? Can't I, I can find boxes of Coronas at the store for $10? That's a great mark. point. <laughs> and they are m much less hot. That's true. It is kind of technologically advanced and kind of, you know, complicated and whatnot. But I guess if this was the uh, PlayStation Pro, um, like, the, you know, the high-tech gamer model, if you will, then a box of Coronas, about 24 of them, get two or three for a good picnic or a party. I would say that's the equivalent, and you'd be winning either way. You're finding your beach, All probably. Right, we're going to do some free association. I'm just going to say a word, and you're going to say the first word that comes to mind. How's that sound? You got it, Boxy Brown. All right, um, so uh, find your... Beach. Interesting. Weird one. Beer. Uh, good. Corona. <laughs> Fucking good. James. Buffet. Uh, is uh, oh. it, is okay. not... Uh, okay. I, don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything. He's the topic of discussion. That's naturally this why I brought him James, up. James Buffet is a, is a VR uh, a psychopath that, uh, that always promotes uh, Corona on this show, and I think this is exactly who this guy works for. I, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? That, con that concludes our I, questions. Oh. Actually, there was one question that I still find relevant. I think it was from Lilo and Stitch. It says, um, if you're an Love audience member, why don't you sit down? That's a great question. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I mean, I was I was sitting down for so long. The, the way these shows work, my God, you're standing for like six hours, mm. filling out paperwork, trying to get in, hoping that you're going to see the host and whatnot. But they got to load you all in properly. I was sitting in the stands for about five to six hours uh, drinking cold coffee. And uh, that's just kind of how they treat the audiences mm. over here, I suppose. All right, um, but well. you know, I want to stretch my legs a little bit. That's uh, that's all. I'm not, I'm not just an audience member. Okay, that's not my job. <laughs> Although my job has nothing to do with that man that was outside earlier. Feels like you just volunteered that information. We didn't press you for that. Well, I, I don't. Where are you? 
we did not talk about this when you when you booked us on the. Box. Yeah, actually. Hold on Thank you. Second. Yes, the detector's edge. Remember, oh, out in time, just for Christmas. Shot. Oh. My, my number is seven one. Miss Fox, that's inappropriate. Oh wow. Live television, am I right? You're you're caught on the USB two. Oh. Three. Am I, am oh, good? you're good. You're am I, you're good. Am I good? You're. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go around, oh. and, and then you gotta. Okay, we're just gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yep. Up, and I'll just. Go. Just like that. That's how it's done. Did the box say anything back to you? Huh? You Have inside? you made a date? He said he's interested. In. Interesting. Does, is he in pain from how hot it is? He said he's very much in pain, but he's very interested in what I have to offer. That's nice. The start of something beautiful. You seem like a balm to his uh, his woes and the things that he's dealing with. Like yeah, a, maybe I could be his Corona. You shill. That's not my name. It's Will Joel. Huh. Shill, shill Joel. Shill's not even a. That's not even a name. I don't know hashtag, what that means. Hashtag, hashtag shill Joel. Hashtag yeah. I am the second mouth. Yeah. Okay. I, will sh I don't even know what shill means. Okay. So you're not even getting to me if you're trying to make fun of me, guys. Sit Fuck down. this. By the detector's edge. Sit down. Where'd Neil go? Was that his name? Is that the Red Robin? Oh, Neil. Neil. Oh, Neil. They all have similar names, Where's too. Oh, Neil Diamond. Diamond. Oh, you're just going to leave it up here, huh? Take right. that with you. Well, that was, um, that was interesting. That was exciting. Uh, I'm not really sure where our uh, original guest went, but I'm very excited that we found a new guest. Um, we actually have a couple of more uh experts on our show tonight uh one of those experts we've um we've already met a little bit um but um uh we're gonna visit him again right now uh you remember him he's our beatboxing expert uh and we're gonna go check out a new clip uh from him right now once again that's our beatboxing expert uh i believe his name was mushmouth marcus enjoy Fuck you, it's me again, Mushmouth Marcus, back here with everything now about beatboxing. I just want to let you guys know that beatboxing doesn't just have to be about hip-hop, okay? You can do it for many different genres. For example... Right? Pretty good. I know it's kind of intimidating, I know that's a whole lot to be learning, but uh, just want to let you know that I've been doing this for a while, and I've gotten to some pretty intense heights, okay? I can do a lot of crazy shit. Uh, I don't really show this to many people unless they pay, but I love everything now so much, love what they stand for, love what that brain dude is doing, so I'm going to show you what I'm capable of right now. <clears throat> Takes lots of years of practice, folks. Lots of years. So use that mouth. Make yourself a drum machine from the inside out, and have some fun, okay? Everyone's gonna love you. They're gonna be freestyle rapping around you. It's gonna be dope as fuck. I love you. See you later. Box it. Everything now. Brain, bitch. Wow. What an what an amazing fella. performance. Yes, that was uh, that was quite amazing. And uh, actually, we have almost an equally amazing uh, guest coming up now. Uh, you've already seen them appear on the chat, or I'm sorry, on the panel. Uh, and now you're going to see them appear live for you in front of your very eyes. Give it up for Jack. Hello. Hello, it's me, Jack. I'm a life coach. No surprises, I entered the room and here I am right now. Nothing surprising. I'm going to grab a remote control f to give my advice. I'll be back, no surprises. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to teach you about what I know. <laughs> One moment, please. You okay, Mrs. Box? I just had to adjust my seat. Uh, for those in the chat wondering why I'm back, well, uh, 
I did not have a ride, so uh, I'm going to be here for a while. I figured, uh, you know, might as well fill in for O'Neill. Um, again, All right. I do not know. Hello, it's me, Jack. Hi. Hello. I'm very excited to give you my knowledge today. I have a different perspective on boxes than I think Ooh. anyone's as far, and I've made my own presentation as to what I think about about the whole situation. The presentation, as you can see, Get Out of Your Own Box by Jack. Great. Let's begin uh, the presentation. Well, introducing me. Um, my name is Jack. That is me. Hi, Jack. If you uh, direct your attention to the picture, that was me once. I, I was that Jack in the box. I know I don't look the same now. Um, my name is Jack and I, I do currently live somewhere. So I'll get into my story. I used to be inside of a box. Of course, the box was made by the clockmaker Klaus in Germany. Uh, yes, uh, that is the clockmaker there. As you can see, he focuses very hard on his work. That's uh, Klaus? Yes, that's Klaus, the clockmaker, wow. my creator. He's very talented and gifted with his hands. He makes the Klaus. He makes, correct, he makes the Klaus. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, so that's him. Uh, the clockmaker created me as a reward for the butcher's son. Um, and the butcher's son deserved a reward <coughs> because, in fact, uh, oh, he made a new seasoning called Wet Hot American Salt wow. that he created. Um, it's much like salt, but uh, wetter, hotter, and more apples. And um, then I fell out of his satchel in the woods. And of course, his satchel was full of holes because he has many meat knives in there and also one pencil. Mm. And so I fell mm. out because of all the holes, because of the pencil and the knives, because he's not just a meat guy. Maybe sometimes he writes things down. It's important to be multifaceted. Any case, I fell out of the satchel and um, if eventually we'll get to that <laughs> next slide. Uh, a local witch, of course, brought me to life for her personal amusement, and at that point I was able to get out of the box. I ran away from my box while she was looking at the jar of loose eyes that she <laughs> has, and uh, she was checking to see if she had any contacts on, on the eyes in the jars. So that's me. I left at that point when she was squeezing the eyes to see, are there contacts on, on any of these eyes? She's I left. So that's how I escaped. Heart wrenching. That's okay, you can just do it. Next. And now I am not in a box, and as you can tell, my life is frequently much more up to par than it used than it used to be. Mm. So that's great. <laughs> yes. Uh you can go on to the next. Uh helping uh. helping Helping. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Sorry, no surprises. I don't mean to shock you. This is the part of the presentation where I help you out, where I, I've shared with you my journey. And now I ask you, are you always inside of a box that you don't like as if you are a toy that has no mind like I was? Whoa. Do any of you feel this way in the chat or on the panel? Uh, Do you feel like you're always ex inside of a box? I always so feel like I'm a box. Well, this is more of a theoretical okay. theoretical box. No, I, yeah, like metaphorically speaking. Do you I, feel like you've been placed inside a box? I work in a cubicle most of the time. That's a box? Oh, my God. All right. It sounds like some of you feel that you've been in, in put into, into a box that you don't. You feel this way, Runky. I also feel like I'm in a metaphorical box because uh, I'm addicted to buying crazy bones on eBay. Great. That's a trap in and of itself. Okay, we'll continue on with the presentation. Get out of your box right now. <laughs> Keep going. But how do you do this? I wonder. 
you say to yourself? Well, that's what I'm here to help with. Advice number one, become aware of your box. Become aware of your box. Okay. After all, you cannot leave the box that you're in until you realize that the box exists because a witch has just brought you to life and all of a sudden you have senses and a brain and you're aware of your box in an instant, all of a sudden at once. You can't get out until that happens to you. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Yes. 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 I agree yes. with. You are. I agree. I agree with. Become aware of your box. I Great. Great. So that's the first step. Um, for you, for you, for you at home, for you on the panel, maybe the box is a day job, as you said, in a cubicle where you're holding your papers all day and you're just holding multiple pieces of paper, and that's not been satisfying to you. But for me, uh, for me, Jack, you may go on. <laughs> for me, it is this box, which is made from the wood from an adult tree house. This was my literal box that I was trapped in. And as you can see, it's covered in pictures of old men laughing at nature because they understand that God has given them the power to destroy the nature that they are enjoying. Oh, wow. This is a bummer. So anyways, that's the first step. Advice number two, list your goals and then move one step forward. Just unmanageable, easy first step. I've learned from being human for almost three days that developing specific words on a piece of paper in a sort of straight line is helpful and makes you more responsible. So try that. For example, write down you want to have a new place of work where you hold less papers in your life um, and you also put down one manageable step to achieve that goal. For instance, update your resume. And when you do that, you want to make sure you list if your hair has gotten stronger or if you've seen more clouds since the last time you've updated your resume to make sure that employers will know about these things. That's an, a way to go. For me, of course, some goals that I have are first of all to experience for the first time being covered in water. I've never had that experience of what water feels like. Oh, it's beautiful. And to achieve that, I would go on a tub search. That would be my step, is to locate a tub, because I've <laughs> heard that that is a place where you become covered in water. <coughs> Another goal of mine would be to own even one possession, perhaps a remote control, a basketball, or even one key. I don't care where it goes. I just want to own one for myself. And the third, of course, is to f try the family game Twister with a group of people and enjoy it. Previously, I had no way of articulating any of the joints in my body, and now that I can, I feel it would be fun to twist and turn with the best of them. Advice number three, do not listen to the names that others have for you. This is a very important advice. This is very important for the people in the chat and for me and for everyone. It's easy to believe the, the sounds that others shout at you and accept those sounds as correct. Perhaps someone, for example, says you are a nerd or not a risk taker. These are some boxes that you can be inside of that people shout at you. And, you know, I've had this experience too. For me, sometimes people shout things. And I will show you. I'll give you an example. For me, they say things like, you look like a nightmare a baby would have. They also might say, I don't know why, but it definitely feels like you know a lot about wax. <laughs> uh, they also might say, you look like if an old playground slide became a person. And those are hard for me to hear, and I don't feel like that completely describes who I am. So I have to be aware that I am not the, the sounds that people shout at me. Now, this is a mistake. I meant to put that this is advice number four. There should be one more one there. Advice number four is ask for help. This is extremely important. You cannot be, uh, you never have to be alone. If you're not in a box, you're not alone. So you, you can utilize the people around you to help you get out of your box. For you, these people could be someone you trust, like a friend or a sister, a different sister, or maybe even a third sister of yours that you could use to help you. Someone you trust and love. For me, of course, it's the mischievous witch Monica of Hildesheim who has helped me get out of my box and enchanted me and brought me to life. And 
She is someone who famously has one stiff loop of hair all the way around. She has dry purple eyes and is, has a fantastically loud digestive system. So she's someone I trust. For you, it might be a sister. With these steps, you may be outside of the box. At last. End of helping. Wow. Incredible. So informative. I'm inspired. I hope that my brief experience as a living person has been helpful to you. And now you may ask me any questions you have about getting outside of the box, about life. I would like to be helpful now that I am aware and can think and have a brain and can move. Wow. You've been helpful already. Do um, you have any questions, guys? Yes, I just want to say I f I thank you. I feel very much outside of the box, but yet still very much inside of my box exterior yourself. That's incredible. See, I was wondering after I had met you how this, this uh, particular advice would affect you since you are in fact a box, but I encourage you to be metaphorically out of a box. Yes, and I think I am. And I want to add, that leads to my, my question. Um, how do you feel about the box you escaped from? Do you uh, do you look down on that box? Do you, do you feel uh, like it helped you? I want to know your thoughts. I think at one at one point for me that box was a home and it, it was a place that I lived and in fact I had no brain so I was not aware of any other kind of life. But now that the mischievous witch Monica has brought me to life, I aspire to more. It's sort of like the human parallel that I can think of is like going through puberty. It's sort of like when you share a room when you're young, you share perhaps a bunk bed with a, with a young sister or a friend and, and um, <laughs> a friend perhaps. And uh, eventually you grow too old to do such things. And while that, that bed once offered you comfort and was a suitable place of living, and it had Sailor Moon characters on the, on the, on the blankets, now you, you want something more, something bigger that fits your current lifestyle. And so for me, it was very similar. Just like growing out of a bed, I was once a toy, and then I became sentient. And obviously, I, I, my needs changed, and I wanted to move around, and that box had to be... Uh, part of the wayside, but yeah. Well, I have a question along with ground beans, actually. Yes. They want to know more about Klaus, your maker. Um, Klaus, the clockmaker uh, yeah, from Hildesheim. Exactly. I was thinking, like, let's say you had like a father figure who might have gotten you your job. Let's their say name that is Axel Rose, and um, they Axel. were kind of pushing you to be what they wanted you to be. But um, now you're starting to kind of, you know, you left your box and whatnot. How do you feel? Toward them. Toward Klaus, the clockmaker. Do you have any resentment toward them? I think there's always going to be a lot of respect in my, in my brain for Klaus, the clockmaker, because he did create me. So it's important. I know he put a lot of work into it, and his old, old leathery hands and fi fingers are very tired from years and years of making the finest clocks in Hildesheim. And so it was very nice of him to put that effort into creating me. But again... Uh, our, our interests began to diverge because you have to understand how they see you, this father figure of yours, and how you see yourself. See, Klaus the clockmaker saw me as a toy that does not have a brain and can't move. And in fact, due to a series of unpredictable circumstances involving a mischievous witch, that was no longer the case. And I began to have thoughts of my own and uh, I could move and walk about, and so my needs changed, similar to what I said before. But if, if the person, if Klaus the clockmaker, or Axel Rose, your father, Rose, Rose uh, cannot change with you, if he cannot accept that you've been enchanted by a witch, and now your joints move, whereas once they didn't, and you also have a tongue and can taste things, whereas before you did not, then you need to move on perhaps without them, even if it is very difficult. For me, it was easy because I had already been given to the butcher's son and I fell out of a bag into the woods. So I, was, I couldn't find Klaus the clockmaker if I tried. So I just ran to the nearest town. But for you, maybe you'll have to actively choose to leave behind the people who don't see you as you currently see yourself. 
it's hard, but I uh, I think you're right. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. You, uh, user uh, LaserQ2009 says, Jack, you mentioned you will not you will not surprise us. Can you please tell us more about your relationship with surprises? Yes. Um, I previously, as you know, I was a Jack in the box. Now I am no longer in the box, but when I was in the box, my primary function was to emerge from that box at an unpredictable moment during a song and create surprises for the people standing nearby. So much of my life was about being uh, sudden and unexpected and uh, scaring people. And though I know that's not the case anymore, I it still lingers inside of me, this feeling that I'm about to surprise anyone um, when I talk to them. So I like to address that head on any time that I meet someone by saying, hello, this is not a surprise. I've entered the room and I'm Jack. So that way they, they know that I'm not going to do anything suspicious. I'm not going to pop out of a, of a box at any time, unless they would like me to, because some dances, it seems, would require a popping or surprising motion. But I don't do that kind of thing anymore. It's sort of like saying, I'm not on that stuff anymore. That's kind of like uh. your self, Mrs. Box, about pronouncing yourself. That's like a yeah, honesty. Yeah, and I'm curious because... Someone someone asked a question earlier, um, yes. and, it, and it brought back some weird memories. Uh, what a disaster ask, did the same witch bring both you and Mrs. Box to life? Wow. Whoa. And I'm trying to remember the time wow. when I was actually sentient, and I do remember being in the woods. Oh, oh my God. Interesting. And I mean, this paint is like, this is new paint. I mean, they put it over me, but... Do you remember the eyes of the witch that brought you to life? Were they dry and purple? Well, they, yeah. It, well, I remember, I remember uh, looking at eyeballs, um, okay. but more from a side perspective. Cause right. Because I was laying on the ground the side. Naturally, I looking yeah. Up, and I saw eyeballs, but I couldn't see who was holding them. Okay, so maybe you were able to see her knees. Did you see unusually sharp knees? They were sharp, yes. Could slice bread, perhaps? Yeah, I, I, yeah, they could probably slice bread. I, I'm wondering if I was the box that you left from and the spell that the witch cast hit both of us and brought both of us to life. I... I don't... I've sensed a kinship with you since I met you. I was going to say the same thing. I think it would be easier to tell if we had perhaps once been one if you approached me. And maybe if I felt, you may be the one person in this world who understands what I've been through. Oh my God. I think I do. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Oh my God. The memories are coming back to me. Oh yes. Hours and hours and days in the clockmaker shop. Oh yes. the glove, it's perfect. And I was getting twisted and you would pop out and and go and and you surprise all the children the children would scream and throw me into a corner do you remember how the clockmaker would laugh and eat his eat his walnuts as he as he built watches and clocks yes i remember that and they were unsalted and he he would chew them more in the back where his molars had fallen out and his gums were just nice and soft yeah he would say straight back he'd pick one up and he he'd, he'd say straight back chew him with his molars and then he would chew wide open so we could all see. He'd, he'd yell straight back. He'd yell straight back. And then he'd flop them into his saggy old molar, his, his molar gums, and he'd lush them around. It was almost as if he was trying to prove something to someone, but there was no for anybody in the room. Yeah, but I guess we were there listening to him. I guess even then, perhaps, because now we have those memories. Yes. Do you remember the song that I used to pop out to? I do. Uh, I think it was playing during your presentation. For old times. Perhaps you will sing it and I will pop out? Yes. I wonder if we can get the music back up so I can sing the lyrics to it. I think the Mr. Brain is working on getting the song. In a way I feel closed in, but also so free. 
I feel both outside the box and also within the box. A and also, a I am a box. A lot of people are asking about the wide, wide discrepancy between the accents that we both possess. Well, you see, after I was done, I was shipped to, to Texas. Mm. Oh, I think we got the music. Whereas back. I remained in the woods of Hildesheim. Right, well, we I can... I, remember, I think I remember the, word, the words. <laughs> I'm a woman in a box. Ah! Buried in my sheet. They look so natural. Won't you come and save me? Now it's all coming back to me now. That felt just like old times now, didn't it? Up top. I love reunions. Oh. It seems we're having much to talk about yes. later. Wow. I cannot believe that this show has brought us together. After all this time, I thought never I would have someone to talk with about how the clockmaker Klaus chews walnuts with the back of his molars only. I wanted so badly to bring it up to so many people. But they would never understand. And now the world knows. And all the, all the entire world of the watchers of everything now. I guess if I can leave you with anything, it's to look out for the mischievous witch Monica, if you ever see her about. Perhaps she will bring you to life, but she's also known for other mischief. Are you happy that she turned to you? You seem like this. you have this positive outlook on life. I think that what she did might have been great. I think she's helped me out of my box in a major way. Yeah. But that being said, I was a toy. So bringing me to life was a good thing. If you're already uh, uh, alive, mm -hmm. then if you see the, the mischievous witch Monica of Hildesheim, she might have some other things in, in store for you, like turning your eyelashes into small worms. Oh, no. Whoa. Would I still be a human or would they turn me into a box? Unclear. Oh, well. She's unpredictable. That's what makes her such a mischievous and delightful presence. I mean, whatever she does, I suppose that would still be pretty refreshing. That's correct. I, I cannot believe I've been reunited with my friend today. It's beautiful. Mm. It's amazing. Is that all from yeah. the panel today? I think, I think that concludes. I mean, Tom, I, Jean said... Uh, what does Monica look like? Are there any discernible features? There are very sharp knees. Good question. Yes, I discussed this a little bit in my presentation. She has very sharp knees. Uh, she distinctly has very incredibly dry eyes that are bright purple. Um, she also has one, uh, one single loop of thick hair that goes all the way around rather like than multiple curls. It's just a big, hard like, like circle. This? A bit like this. Oh, wow. If you wow. see that, she has one loop of hair. Um, she also has a remarkably loud digestive system, so you'll hear her stomach digesting the day's food before you see her face. So that'll be the telltale sign, is if you hear food moving through either the upper or lower intestine. Right. Wow. And we got a couple of thank yous. Laser Kid does nice says, thank you, Jack, for being so vulnerable. Browstream says, thank you, Jack, for sharing. You. You're welcome. I like to do good with the time on my on this earth. No surprises. I'm leaving the, the stage. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Jack. And thank you to everybody who's joined us tonight on this uh, amazing adventure into the world of boxes, out of the world of boxes, uh, and around the world of boxes. Uh, we've had amazing presentations uh, from beatboxers to uh, Mrs. Box, who is a box. Um, we had Jack, the uh, Jack in the Box. We had O'Neill Diamond, who was the inventor of um, the... I forget what it was called. I think it was... Detector's Edge. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Uh, it was the Detector's Edge, which was able to... Uh, read your greatest thoughts and desires. Uh, of course, I'm Dr. Teacher. I'm your host every week. Uh, and next week we'll be back. Uh, we'll also be back this coming Wednesday at 8 p.m. for a brand new episode. So uh, be sure to join us on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific for a brand new episode. Uh, but now we're going to revisit the main stage really quick to tell us what we learn.
you are not alone. You are not alone. I drink to that. Nice to be meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Great yeah. show. Nice. Wow. Yes. So good. Yes. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, we meet again. Thanks for joining us, everybody. That was another episode of Everything Now. Like I said, we'll be back again at 8 p.m. this coming Wednesday, so make sure to join us for that. Uh, And we're also here every week on Sunday for a brand new episode with a brand new theme, brand new characters, and exciting new things to learn. Thank you guys for joining us, and don't forget to follow us if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Oh, and we're so close. And it's almost, yep, just on the lid. I'm I'm used to twist-offs, you know. Uh, Oh, 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 so close, so close. Perhaps I stabilized. Yeah, no, you can say, oh, oh. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Find your beach. Um, which is not a box, probably.